you might be wondering why copyright matters, or why a kid would be talking about copyright at all. Here's why. Yesterday, I made a new friend, and we like the same music. She asked if I heard this great song. I told her no, so she says, Here, you can copy mine, thinking she's being nice, right? She's about to send it to me, and I had to say, Um, my dad's a songwriter. He works hard. Late into the night, I hear him at the piano. But it's hard for him to make a living when people don't buy songs. I'll just buy the song, then I can take it home with me. It wasn't even awkward for a second. She said, I get it. Copyright matters. Copyright protects creative work. Original writing, art, photographs, audio, images, music scores, song lyrics, or even the choreographed steps of a dance. All of these are the intellectual property of the person who created them. So get those from legal sites that make sure the owners get paid. They are protected by copyright. It doesn't matter if it was created by a famous artist or you. It's important to respect intellectual property. Now watch this. There's more to copyright than you think. What if you want to do more with a song than just listen to it? Like transform it into something totally different. Like a funny parody. There's this really interesting part of copyright called fair use. Fair use allows for situations where you can use copyrighted work without permission. So we can take that song and turn it into something really funny. I see a little silhouette of a clam Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? It's called parody. If you transform something, a song or a movie or a story, into a parody, it's fair use. Other transformations are allowed too, but they need to be something completely new and different. Fair use can actually get pretty complicated, but what you need to know is, most of the time you're allowed to use anything you need, if it's for a school project. Teachers know that they have more to think about with fair use. Like will my use hurt the market? And have I used only a small portion? But what's important for students to remember is, you can use what you need for a school project as long as you start with a legitimate copy. So I can put my favorite song in a PowerPoint for English, or take the best images off the web for a history paper, or use a movie clip for a science presentation. But it has to be for a real educational use, not just for entertainment. Like, I'm not allowed to copy all your songs, so I can listen to them while I'm in school. Definitely not a fair use. But choose wisely, because if you want to take your school project and put it online for everyone to see, now is when you need to think about copyright. These images and music you use in your school project are still protected by copyright. So, if you plan to share your academic awesomeness with the whole world, it's easiest if you use music and images that are old enough to be in the public domain and free to share. Copyright, fair use, and creativity go hand in hand. So, remember, if you just want to copy a song to give it to your friends, that's not a fair use. So why would a kid care about copyright? Well, if you dream of someday being an artist, a writer, a photographer, a songwriter, a movie maker, then copyright and fair use are your future too.